Welcome everybody. I'm about to start streaming in some comics. Gonna be drawing uh, our Life is Strange review, which is gonna run next week. Just get some links out real fast and then I'll be going. One second. Say hi if you want. Oh God, my mouse is, what is happening? Uh-oh, something funky. Funky Winker Bean, what is happening? There it goes. That was, no, something's off. Like my, um... oh God, this is not gonna be good at all. What is happening? My alignment is off. Like it might look fine to you guys, but where my mouse is going, where my uh, my pen is actually on the screen is not aligned. That's going to be a problem. I wonder if it's. Let's do some quick calibration, guys. This is fun. Live stream behind the scenes. Okay, I don't know what, what caused that to get out of sync. I've not had to change that in months and months and months. But uh, it looks pretty okay. I might do it one more time. Just because it's fun. This is like when you go to the eye doctor and you have to tell them what prescription looks better, like one or two. And if you get it wrong, you're blind for the next six years. It's a little bit like that. No pressure. Uh, okay, so we're gonna be doing, this is uh, the kind of roughed out version of our um, Life is Strange comic. All the text is hidden because <clears throat> that'd be just, that'd be spoiling it. Um, if you want the text, the text is already up. Oh gosh, I got some, I got some shirts over here. It's a mess. Uh, if you want the actual text, you can go and become a, a behind the scenes patron at, uh, our Patreon channel. Um, but for everyone else, you just gotta wait till Wednesday. This will be posted uh, tonight for patrons, or tomorrow morning for patrons, I guess. And then, um, like I said, Wednesday for everybody else. So one of the things you're gonna see here is I undo constantly. It's just my thing. Can I get this beard right? What's going on? There we go. I don't do a ton of live streaming for drawing because uh, honestly, Usually I'm drawing this thing in pieces, like 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there. Um, or, and honestly, half the time I'm just like listening to podcasts or whatever, which doesn't really make for great witty banter, but I don't feel like doing that today. So that's why we're here.
Looks a little big, doesn't it? Giant old head. One of the things I also don't like about drawing on stream too much is uh, not only am I embarrassed by how often I undo lines, is I, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit of a perfectionist and uh, so I feel pressure in streams to uh, make it interesting to watch, which means usually not undoing so much or um, just moving forward with the line that I'm not necessarily super happy about, which is not my deal. I mean, my my style in general is like pretty clean. Um, makes me cry when I uh, <clears throat> have to live with lines that I don't like. So, and then sometimes I forget how to draw things. Like my character doesn't in his damn chair all the time, but somehow right now I'm forgetting how to draw his legs. But oh well. I should draw the rest of his arm over there. That might be a good idea. <clears throat> so it's actually a big secret with this one today is that there's like two comics that I've kind of been going back and forth between this one and this other one. Might if we end up with time today, I might end up doing both. Sometimes I forget how to draw people, and it's good to have reference. Yep, see, I knew I was drawing eyes too far away, too close.
I think her eyes are too small. Something's weird about this. I think it's her face shape. That's better. Something's definitely up with my uh, Cintiq though today. It's like, um, I think it might be because I'm using OBS settings that have got a bit of a crop on them and I wonder if it's like adjusting the actual Somehow adjusting like the Cintiq's bounds or something. So I was gonna have her walking past with like a load of laundry, but that seems that seems sexist. So I mean, she j could just be standing there. Any ideas from chat about what she could be doing as she's walking past? She could have the dog, maybe? Oops. I could draw, like, um... <clears throat> You know, dog down here. Maybe she's just out here. Just walking past, honestly. Maybe she's got a ball for the dog? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, I kind of made her like a reader in the in the comic, which she is in real life. Um, maybe she's just walking by with a book. You know, walking and reading like you like you do. But I could just God, these are the stupid kind of kind of problems you end up with uh, as a cartoonist, like. You need an excuse to have her here, and you don't want it to be the same in every comic. Uh, I could have a dog. Dog's just distracting though, that's the problem. Um, I think I think it's worth having her walking past doing something too, as opposed to just standing there because the idea is that she's not interested, she's doing something else, and I catch her by surprise and she stays around. So maybe we just bite the bullet and have her doing laundry. Uh, which, hey, you know, it's a thing we do in our house. How do you hold a laundry basket? You hold it like this, right? <laughs> Problem is that's hard to draw. Hands are, um, if God exists, he's never, he's not an artist because he would never make something as difficult to draw as hands, to be totally frank.
Wait a minute. I feel, I feel like I've drawn her holding a laundry basket in the past. I don't think I have anything from reference though to use. Whatever, I'll just, just keep trying this. These hands are not working out though. I feel like you, you get a grip like this. It's just an awkward hand shape, but I've drawn worse things. Actually, I think I like it being laundry now that I think about it more because <clears throat> the basic joke of the comic is that she's reevaluating her life with me. Haha, -ha, it's funny because, oh God. Uh, and so her doing laundry actually makes me seem like a worse husband, which is good for the jokes of the comic. It's not good, um, you know. <laughs> Everything else, what it says about me. longer than it should have. I don't think I want to look like uh, stressed here, but I think more just um, startled. One sec. Hey, hi, Firepower. Thank you very much. 
that Into the Breach comic was a uh, that was a lot of drawing. I felt like I spent way more time on that one than I ever anticipated. Drawing a bunch of a uh, bunch of creatures and stuff in that last panel, but I really liked that comic. I'm glad you liked it. Thank you. I've never spent so much time figuring out like how to draw bugs and weird creatures and that was like a very simple joke that took a to sell it you gotta like sell in order to sell that joke you have to like completely convey all the death and devastation and uh, in that last panel it has to be just perfectly deadpan and um i don't think i totally pulled it off but uh it was like simple jokes take forever to draw sometimes Well, that's an easy panel compared to that first one. So we're gonna do, um, oops, this is in the wrong place. I'm very organized with my panels, with my, uh, my files here and I don't, there we go. Um, so we're gonna do the sketch layer and then we'll do, <clears throat> go back to the inks. This will be a pretty quick comic, all things considered, I think. No crazy giant destruction, giant insects or anything like that this time. Also drawing that mech, I don't draw a lot of mechs in my comic. Uh, and Into the Breach is, like, Into the Breach, um, something, <laughs> I don't know, you're not asking these questions, but I'm just, you're making me think about this stuff. Um, Into the Breach, like, all the art assets from Into the Breach are, like, these really tiny, small insects and, uh, and mechs, and so, like, they're really hard to use as a reference, so I just had to, like, make up a mech I thought that would kind of be understandable, but <clears throat> th those two things made that comic take. Flipping ever. Uh, but hey, all's well that ends well. We forget about it and then we do it all over again and <laughs> create new problems for us to solve every t every week. That's our that's our motto. If non cartoonists, if people who are not doing comics understood how long comics took to make, uh, you'd be terrified. No one would ever get into comics. That's for damn sure. Because even like even now, it's watching the <clears throat> maybe watching the stream. Maybe the stream takes like three hours or whatever. Um, like that's not that's not even counting the time it takes to come up with the idea, workshop it a little bit, right? Like you, usually the first draft's not the greatest draft, or like you need to edit down some of the um, some of the text, reword some of the text, maybe change a panel here and there find a better delivery. So it like, shit takes a while, man. That looks appropriately smarmy, I think. Which is what I'm probably wanting, I think. I 
I know I obsess over these lines. I'm not even inking yet. But I find that if you don't, uh, if I don't, anyway, if I don't uh, care about that stuff early on, it's such a bad, uh, bad foundation for uh, the rest of my stuff that follows. Nick is huge, holy crap, I made him, I made both of us giant. Maybe I, can, maybe I can live with that, we'll see. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, Firepower, I appreciate it. I swear to God, inventing half of the things that your characters could be doing in these, like, we could be going to the movies right now with this wireless panel, or it could be standing in line in a burger joint, it could be eating, a, we should be eating across from one another. Maybe that's what we should be doing. Maybe next time on his phone. Maybe that's just as simple as... He's got a coffee. Nick's always got a coffee. I don't do coffee, kids. Get high on life. Okay, we're ready for inks. Ah, hey, Brandon. <laughs> Bring back the brow, huh? That's what's gonna satiate you? Is it? Is it? Do you need this? Bring some heavy brow back. Brow on brow action there. Oh God, look at that. Ah, I'm a monster. Ah, no. <laughs> Bring back the brow, man. Once you once you get rid of the brow. You know, life's, life's better. That's what I realized, I was like, I don't, you know what? I don't need these eyebrows. And I shaved my eyebrows in real life and the comic for a whole week. Turns out you need them in real life. Not so much in the comic though. I let my, uh, I've been doing some things with the, I haven't been doing it super successfully, but I've been playing with, uh, using the glasses, like the frame of the glasses as, if I, if I need it. 
like very subtly adjusting the glasses uh, to make it a bit more um, emotive. Like if I'm sad, maybe the, maybe the glasses will kind of like droop a little bit or if I'm excited, they'll kind of pop a bit more. It's kind of like the Spider-Man. I hadn't thought about it until now, but I guess it's kind of like the um, Spider-Man's little little eye holes. Different character, different artists, you know, draw them with like, he gets all squinty or bug-eyed, haha, <laughs> no pun intended, um, when he's excited or something. I think I can pretty much do the same thing. Definitely can't do what a Spider-Man, spider can though, so. Come on. Come on. This is like one of the hardest lines on my character to draw. And I usually do it in one go. But Every now and then I get stuck in a crazy time loop. That's good enough. Sure wish you could just like copy paste <laughs> from your past drawings, but that doesn't, that doesn't fly. That'd be great though, just draw things once Save me a lot of time, holy moly. Problem is you wouldn't, uh, you would never get better. But maybe you don't need to. Nope, come on, tighter, tighter. This is a little close there. I don't like tangents. My beard's a little too close to my controller. There's not enough room in the world for both of them. One hand does not look like the other, do they? Let's fix that. My Does not look 
terrific. The controller's fine, the hand is not. Usually I draw the uh, chair on a different layer. Because if I have to change something with my character or whatever, if I change my mind, I don't have to like <clears throat> redraw a bunch of the character. Like underneath the, the chair or something like that. What's up with my dumpy legs today, huh? They don't look great. What's a What's a recent one where I've drawn legs that I liked? This is my This is the Eternal Cartoonist struggle too. Is a You draw things good once. Why can't you do it again? terrible. What is wrong with me? This is why I don't draw people sitting down very much. Holy crap. That's good, right? Just sit there. No one's even gonna see this. This is just gonna be black, anyways. Ugh, this is gonna drive me crazy. That looks like a normal person sitting. This does not. Maybe I don't worry about getting his butt totally on the screen. For in view here. Thank you for joining my uh, How to Draw Seated Legs Badly stream today. Sure, whatever, we'll live with that.
So I've got to text somebody. Okay, new layer for the chair here. And because we made it another layer, we can do stuff like that. Or stuff like this. Yay! Unfortunately, we still can't do stuff like this very easily. Because I'm really bad at planning ahead. like this where if you know what to look for you can totally tell that I drew a straight line through there but that's just gonna be our little secret thank god no one's watching this on a stream or anything like that I can totally spill my secrets my horrible horrible artistic shortcomings oh oh hey um okay that's halfway decent. I'm not super happy about any of my uh... I can draw circles. Oh, I'm so close, so close. So close. Draw circles, man. It's like a full time job. Ah. 
You can't draw the perfect line, sometimes you gotta fake it. You know what sucks? Drawing laundry baskets. Because they got like all this intricate. It's not, it's not even intricate. But you gotta like draw the weave a little bit. Oh, maybe I can cheat. Maybe I can cheat it. <laughs> oh, that's not what you wanted me to hear. Hers being said. Um, Actually, the worst part about this is going to be coloring it. Because you do want to make all the uh, clothes different colors? Probably not. Probably just like, she's loading a she's she's washing a load of, of uh, whites, let's just say. Or maybe they're all, you know, that'd make, it easy, that'd make it easier. Less garish on the eyes, too. Gotta draw the boobs.
One thing I really haven't decided with drawing my wife is uh does she have does she have the second eyebrow? Or is it like hidden underneath her or is it just peeking out underneath her hair and her bangs? Like so. So far I've been drawing like this, and I think I prefer it like that still. But I do go back and forth. cheat this. This is how we're going to do it. That. Yo, 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 yo. How are we gonna do this? We need to delete. Ugh. Yuck. So hacky. Sure, whatever, that works. It's good enough. Okay. <clears throat> Might actually bump up the pen size on this one, because she's a bit she's a bit bigger in this in this frame. Which side of the eyes should have the glisten? I never like, I was never. I want to show her eyes just kind of like a million yard stare.
Well, I could do more like stars. Wait, isn't there like a star tool in here? There is a star tool in here. No, let's go. I've never used these tools before. That looks kind of cheap, <laughs> it turns out. Maybe what I want is just a million points of light. Not that looks like she's a spider. Looks like she's got weird x-ray glasses on. Let's just leave it like that for now and come back to that. There's like a lot of options with this one. I can do this, for instance, if I want her to kill me in real life. I think I like either this. Just what I sketched in there. So either that or just this. But that looks sad. And it's more like she's daydreaming. That's what I'm looking for. I'll go with that for now.
I have not listened to this this playlist before, but this uh, <sighs> what are they? What's this? What's this? Dub? I can't remember the name of this genre of music. All of a sudden, dubstep version of a uh, Super Mario World is hilarious. I use Clip Studio instead of uh, instead of um, what do you want to call it? Instead of Photoshop, and one of the reasons why, well, not really one of the reasons why, but a benefit that I'm still kind of trying to figure out how to wrap my head around is uh, these like built-in effect line stuff that you can use. I'm looking for our speed lines. Um, I don't want one side though. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Real quick, see if I can't find something on the old asset store. But I mean, I can, I've drawn these before in the past. It's not a big deal. But why? Uh... You know, don't reinvent the wheel. Oh my god, they cost money. I mean, that makes sense, but I never thought about that before. All right, well, let's just try to build it ourselves. I'll do that later, to be honest. Maybe, I'll, maybe I can put it here, though. Holy smokes, just give me the asset. There we go, thank you. Clip Studio is great, but the uh, sometimes the actual asset, or the actual, like, um, non, there's like, a, there's like a wrapper for Clip Studio that is kind of a nightmare to use. What am I looking at here? Usually there's like a... Huh, usually there's like a little bit of like a control option here where I can like mess with the density of these things. Why am I not seeing that? Good lord.
Well, I guess... Uh, I guess we won't be using this one. It's too bad, this is basically what I'm looking for here. Interesting. I don't know what I'm doing. Can I rotate this thing? Where are you? Where'd you go? What is that? Oh, that's my, <laughs> that's my own sketch. Derp. Um, oh, I grabbed the wrong layer, okay. So where did you come from? There you are. Oops. There's no object to transform. Okay, well, what about I just transform the whole Layer. Why can't I rotate this? Okay, so let's all rotate. What is happening? Screw that. I'm coming back to that after this. This is all done, probably. We'll figure that out off stream. It's not really exciting for anybody, including me. But that's looking pretty good now. Uh, we can get rid of some of these draft layers now.
can probably hear my wife in the next room now. She's back from her uh, her run, making some breakfast with the dog. I didn't, draw my, I didn't draw my glasses. I knew I didn't do it. I didn't draw my finish my glasses in that first panel. I gotta merge some of this stuff down. Oh no, I've made a dangerous error, but hopefully it's okay. I've merged away my wife's eyebrows, um, which should be okay. But if I decide to change her. Look, I usually put light brows on a different layer because I'm worried about changing, because they overlay on top of art. And I worry about changing their position and what that would mean. Put the art underneath it. Did not do that this time. But I'm confident we'll be okay. That was a lot easier that time, just because I think I've been warmed up for a little bit now. That's my story, anyways.
I don't like drawing heat lines. What do you, what is the, oh god, what do you do for heat lines? Help me. Looks like I'm drinking DNA here. Screw it. He's just drinking coffee without any heat lines. It's cold coffee. He's drinking cold brew. I know cold brew is hot often. He's drinking cold brew. Okay, one last thing. This is where everyone finds out that I uh, cheat on Nick's shirt constantly. I mean, I don't cheat. It's all hand drawn. But look at this. This all my all my windows are off on the wrong damn monitor. This is a great tool though for figuring to making sure that your lines are consistently spaced. And uh, I mean if you if you have a need for a grid, which is rare I suppose, but uh, it's pretty helpful. I'm the same, damn it, I'm in the same layer as the, as the drink. Not smart, Nate. You should have known better. Okay. Time for some coloring. And then we're done here. Let's work in reverse, shall we? Let's go panel three, down to panel one. God, I, all my windows are off on like three monitors away.
I had some... Someone talking about some color this week, and I'm still playing around with color. I'm not... I'm, like, not good at color, to be clear. But I'm getting, I'm getting better. Um, I have a lot to learn still. So, oh god, that's terrifying. I realize now I didn't add layer here for Nick's hand. Or a line, I suppose. It's going to be hidden behind the, the frame anyways, but whatever. Uh, okay. Here we go. Keep going. That's all the skin, right? Preset color for my shirt. I need to. I don't know that I. Here we go. Oops. Do some shading. Like I said, I'm still learning a lot about using color. I've only started using it in our strips for like the last uh, couple of weeks, really. Um, I still have serious, serious questions about how to use it and how to use it well. But the only one way to find out and that's to try, so here we are.
kind of resent the amount of time color takes, which is why why I've not done it for so long, and why now that I am doing it, um, I'm very very interested in finding a way to do it relatively quickly. Both because I well, obviously I don't love doing it, and so I'm trying to find shortcuts. Um, but also because uh, I think it looks better when my coloring is kind of sloppy, to be totally honest. I got the whites. Disaster averted. Oh no, I forgot a lay uh, a specific line here. I've done a color version of my wife yet, so this will be new for everybody. 
Hopefully she approves. I know I've done something with her in color. I'm not sure I like this choice for her hair color, but we can start there. And I have no one to blame but myself. Oops. I kind of wondered if I should try, like, um, with hair, with eyebrows and stuff, like, instead of making them black, making them, um, a specific color, like this. I don't know, it looks kind of weird, though, doesn't it? to it, but then we, it's also just not kind of what I'm going for in general, I guess. Like, I don't know, I'm not a big fan. Um, just turn that off for now, go back to the coloring layer and do some shading. Good enough. And 
actually Almost done, guys. I'll probably put in some background color for a couple of these, but nothing too critical. Okay. Oh, gosh. Missed some lines here. How embarrassing. More skin. More blacks. Yes, there's a ton of black here, a ton of black there. I got black pants. So you might be asking why I bothered freaking out about all of those pants choices earlier on. And the answer is there. Yeah. Mm. Something to get freaked out about. Less colors you use, the better, so. At least, in my opinion. Hello. My wife and I watched Atomic Blonde last night. Making her blonde right now is definitely making me think about that. Um, it's a weird movie. It's like really interestingly put together to like with this dedication to making it a product of the uh, late 80s, but um, 
I'm not sure I actually liked the movie. Um, really cool action sequences at times. In fact, there's like one like we were like there's a unbroken camera shot for quite some time, which was cool. Um, but like I just I did have a trouble. I did have trouble kind of following it a little bit. Um, I like spy stuff, you know. So I'm not usually don't have a problem following along, but it was uh, just how it didn't do a great job of clarifying all the players in the game, I guess, like all the characters in the game and what they were trying to do. So yeah, we're gonna make these whites. That'll make this easy. She's doing a light load, you know? And what color should we make the old laundry basket? Same color as Nick's shirt? Good idea. I like the way you think. I do need to put some extra lines in here. With regard to shirts and stuff in, in the laundry. Cool. Uh, I need a layer up here for whites to basically redraw some of the stuff. Okay, one more shading layer.
still got a lot to learn with color. I just don't know what. Am I trying to be realistic with the uh, light source, or am I just trying to like give a sense of depth? I'm really not sure what I'm trying to accomplish just yet. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. I might, I might go back and like put some extra, um, you know, I can come in here and throw some, you know, some light color or something like that in the background just to kind of give it some shape. Um, but that's gonna be it. That's, I mean, I might play around with that once I get the line working here and the bubbles, uh, the text bubbles, so. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to us here on YouTube, and uh, hopefully we'll do another one of these here soon. This comic's going to run on Wednesday of this week. Um, I might even do a bonus one for patrons, so you know, check that out at patreon.com slash gamepadinc. But thanks, and bye-bye.